The man, man just a drink van tea and cover Polish town and watch her. He more gave him a ticket. Right now the police him dig down bad boy Kino. A man who was on the run for over three years for allegedly shooting at the police in St. James was arrested while at a visa appointment. We talk about in St. Anjo. Right up a embassy the man going to say him a look at visa and a giant line and everything. You know. Ready up for go get him in white paper. And he hold on for him. Third four year old Jim Warren, otherwise called Keno of Top Hill, Mount Carey St. James, was later charged with shooting with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. The charges stem from the shooting incident on the night of Monday, February 5th, 2018. The police report about 6.30 p.m. A team was on a patrol in Rentland, Mount Carey St. James. When upon seeing the cops, Warren reportedly opened gunfire them before escaping in the area. Years later, on Monday, June 3rd, 2024, Warren turned up at the embassy in St. Andrew where he had applied for a visa. The police checks made by the representatives reveal that Warren was listed among a group of wanted men in St. James. His application was denied and he was immediately arrested and later charged for the 2018 shooting incident. His court date is being finalized. Them, them, them boys, I said them are bad man and them now have no brains. The man apply, you know. Sending in documents and everything, you know. And the embassy run checks on him. I alert the cops, they make them know that this man, they may come for him interview at such date, and he's wanted. And him now go up there and join line, feel so good, say boy, yeah, man. you know me feel good. I get the white paper today, you know. Everything done line up for him already. You must grab him and just dash him in the van back. We're glad everything work out the right and proper way, you understand? So all of who feel like him busting and check and run background and them thing there, when you make a sad mistake. Right now we have an update on a school girl that got shot at the water race high school. This one, the stories are developing one. Talk of the town, everybody has say, oh, Jan was star. What kind of you that? How we manage to reach on the school compound with an illegal firearm? Security not check him. Oh, I'm going tell you so many questions right now. But the little girl, she coming on people, she fighting. So we have to just keep on praying. So by by the end of the week, we can get some good news. Say yeah, them release her. You understand? No, all of this took place on Monday, bright and early school morning. You understand? About one p.m., the school boy take the gun out and bag and start showing friend him. Everybody I look one gun, them disassemble it, assemble it. You understand who are pointed over this so? Who are pushing at them waist? You understand? Who are take pictures? All different type of things they are going with in the classroom. Cause bad boy them. You understand? That for sure you say if you must show him friend them and none of them will look at him and tell him say you what is this? You bring in the people in school. You know say all of them they on the same page. All of them have the same mindset. And as a young little youth, a them thing I have brandish already. And them a play with play the gun so till the gun go off. I hit the school girl in her leg. Chop her a grung. When the rest of the kids them hear the shot and see what I go on. Them things are the little girl dead and all no people. Everybody start run for them life, left, right and center. Teacher run, principal run. Everybody a run. For sure you say, oh, I know nothing normal. You understand? We have to just give God thanks. It the worst. But that boy, the police him have him. And them flock him down. You understand? And if you talk to the parent right now, them are going to have mercy upon their son. And we have to look upon the other way and say, boy, what if that gun did go off and, and kill the little girl? Your son, 
him gone on the wrong, wrong path. Gearing up to be future menace to society. The police have to look for him now and shoot him up and kill him. I, I, that, I, that the part him gone now, no, no. people talk to me in the comment section and make you hear what I'm going. But I'm tell you. Just imagine you at work or home and you get a phone call say, boy, I bring gun come to school and shoot your picnic. <laughs> no, sir. This not safe. So people need to go down to the part two. It took me a while to make this one because I had to build up the courage to talk about it. Because as soon as a woman start talking about them work with my father, the community ever say they never know him stay before every feet. Ninety percent of men change when a woman becomes pregnant. And ninety percent of them change for the worse. I may end up with one of them. Delano Merchant, Police Batch 118. We did go to, up to the point when at the gender reveal and find out say it's a girl we have. The man literally take off the father to be off insured and say, Are you a baby now? A weak man get girl. So we say, If you never know you're weak all along, here is your confirmation. And that was the end of the relationship, about five months pregnant. Fast forward two and a time for the baby born. We drive myself to Spanish Town Hospital. They never care how I reach. But you reach down there if you come sign birth paper. You never know how I reach home either. The man said, I take vacation to help me because I live alone. In Portmore, everybody else have a country for me. We go alone in Portmore. Man, say my vacation for me with the baby. I know no vacation can't take. Three days after my baby, me I cook food, me I clean, me I do everything for myself. March, him take vacation. That like two months after the baby born, him take vacation for him. Friend will come from foreign, but him put take vacation for him on the fitness. Fast forward to when the baby reach one, she start take formula, cause she get breast milk for one year straight. She start take formula, she eat her fruits, she eat her baby food, she eat this other time. I say yo, me need some more money. Man say, so I need your money. Where you pay for? Mind you, when I ask him for no include, it's what baby use bed, it's what wash baby clothes, and we have more other things. So she, when she's sick, I mean, medication, I mean, what him could have put more money from where in did that give me. Mind you, when did that give me was a joke. Anyways, we have a pressure the people them son, take away him give me, take care of him in the same way. Fast forward to when we get engaged. So we get engaged, mind you, all along, at two and three times a month, he might come look for the baby at my house, two and three times a month. All of a sudden, as we get engaged, the man decides to say, he don't want to come up with more, no more, come see the baby. He want to take the baby. So I say, all right, which way you leave? I'm drop off the baby. He was a put more, but I don't know which part of the I can't tell which part of the more he live. So I say, all right, if you don't know where you live, you're not getting the baby. It's as simple as that. Fast forward, right after I get engaged, the, um, I get my baby visa. The man decides to say, he want the baby to go overseas for five days. So I say, you never keep my daughter at Jamaica for five days. What do you think? I will give my daughter to carry go overseas for five days. <laughs> man say, I quote him, I go, you know, I quote him, I go, because I not give him access to him child. I go work one day and as someone as we get, we go court, because I deny access to him child. Anyways, we go court and the court basically ruled in my favor and say, you need to provide proof of address before you can get the baby, because you need to know where you bring the baby go. Anyway, so after that, 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 that session, me serve him too, because I told him, shopkeeper, you serve me, me serve you too. We serve him as someone's and tell them, say, yo, him now, nah, maintain the child. Mind you, from November, from November, when we get engaged, him stop minding the youth. So all of a sudden you, you want to bring me to access to the child where you're not take care of make it make sense. So I bring, bring him to court and I end up get three times the amount of money me to begin with. And that was the year 2023 and as you all know, as we get married, we migrate. So I miss two court sessions and I realize say, yeah, we migrate. You don't know say the man stop sending the money with the court saying for sin because we migrate. Before we migrate, the judge said to him, since that he don't want to go to the house, because according to him, no, I'm fear for him life, you know, I'm afraid of who, only God he knows. The man said, I'm fear for him life, so the, the judge said, since you don't want to go to the house anymore, meet up at the daycare, or at a mutual place, a park or something, visit the baby. And no, the man not move, no budge, no message me, visit the child. At this point, it was like five months since he don't see the baby. So we migrate now, and he realized, he stopped sending money. He just, he just stops anymore. No, no argument, no force. You know, care, cause you never care to begin with. No argument, no force. You say, with my daughter, you're going with my daughter. Nothing to that sort. I get a text, I get a phone call, and I try to reach out to me. If you try to talk to your baby, nothing. Nothing at all. Fast forward to when she just turned three January. A screenshot me get. Say, say boy, I post up the baby about happy birthday. Post up baby where you don't even know if she eat. Post up baby where you don't even know if she asleep. Pam bed or floor. Or we in a shelter for her. You know, nothing about the baby where you post up happy birthday. But you're the merchant. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, walk around and Jamaica, I behave like you don't have a child upon the earth. You, well, you, you don't. You don't. But you will never know peace. As long as that little girl exists, you will never know peace. And you know the worst part about it? When, when um, I had this registry, and they registry, and they want a car seat, because I drive. 
At the time, we drive from there to Jamaica. I want a car seat. I'm telling myself to make me up and buy the car seat. Man, say I'm not buying a car seat because I'm not drive. We put it on my baby registry and one of my friends buy the car seat for the baby. M male friend, to be specific. Man, say I'm not want a man buy, buy him daughter, nothing. That male friend is now my husband. And the same man, when I want to buy nothing, be a pity. Guys, I don't want to feel like I'm attacking them. I'm not attacking them. I'm just a simple you know, and little advice, you see? So, you know, sometimes you know, see this woman and you know, well want to do with the woman and you know, finally get the chance to get, get like a nookie from the woman. And you know, this thing we call anxiety will make you know, come fast. All right, you hear me, so long? You know what you know, do? Because we women, we don't like the anxiety thing, you know, because it is very embarrassing. So what you need to do, you see? You don't need to know, say, all right, when you reach in the room or wherever, you don't do it, you don't go in the bathroom, go back on your face first now. When I bash you go back on your face and come first, right? When you come now, you know, say, yeah, a second, I'm going to put on, call it the second round then, because you don't back on your face already, so you're ready now, you're ready you now. So, when you come now, you know, start, you start, do your thing now, you know, say, no anxiety now, did they cut that gun, you get rid of that. So, you're going to stop, you know, you're going to stop, you know. You see it? And make the woman enjoy, actually enjoy herself. But when you no go do when you no back on your face now and uno 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 come pan tap away and then the anxiety kick in and as uno uno uno, uno start uno uno done. <laughs> me tired. Me can't manage. Hmm? Uno hicks for uno hicks for we feel. Them some day embarrassing man. And we we talk, you know? We talk. We not keep it to yourself. We chat. <laughs> we talk. You know, so we turn, we chat. Them something embarrassing, man. You no need to go jerk off on yourself first. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I want to actually start. Get, you know, get the nook here. You know, say, yeah. It's a journey. You know, go punk. Yeah, you don't, you don't get rid of the anxiety part first. What wrong with you, man? Anyways. I don't know if you know what you probably don't know. So I'm just a good look at idea. If you know the next time we're not gonna do a little thing like that. You know, say we're not anxious and stuff like that. So you can just, you know, go make it some mats up that in our bathroom and then you know, thing and thing when they're ready for get the, the actual thing, you know, say you're good. Then